Well, here I am in Oakland. Had to pull over because I forgot to do my strap. And uh, pulled over and it reminded me where I'm at, standing here. Reminds me of the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake. This is where the Cypress Freeway structure collapsed. There was a double-decker freeway here. And uh, there was a double-decker freeway here in the 89 earthquake. We had a 7.1 huge earthquake and it collapsed. And a lot of people were uh, trapped in there. A few people died. And I stayed not far from here. So uh, I'd come down here like every day because there were still people trapped in there. And uh, yeah, I think it probably affected me a little bit. Affected me a little as far as, uh, you know, I was only like 16 then. And uh, yeah, I was like 16 then, so I kind of Damn, I hate to walk across this grass. It's really nice. But yeah, this place is completely different. Uh, actually, the street was called Cypress before. And I renamed it. How they do sometimes. Uh, try to clean up and hide the fact that uh, this is the hood. So they changed it to Mandela Parkway. But yeah, there used to be a double-decker double-decker freeway right here completely collapsed for like what a mile or two how is it all emergency yes ma'am uh, my name is steve barnes i'm at west grand avenue and uh -huh. the cypress section of the west grand freeway has come down i saw at least three or four trucks come over the top it's a whole section of the, the overhead just collapsed the okay cypress overhead our uh, cypress structure in oakland has just fallen through we'll check this ambulance response is three two and cypress okay, we can go to 880 and cypress weekend we had a 6.0 earthquake and that one actually scared the shit out of me a little bit <laughs> not during the earthquake but after the earthquake I thought about what could have just happened or thought about if it started shaking again would the whole place fall apart so you know that was a big reminder for a lot of us here and actually when I think about it uh, in October, October 17th, it'll be 25 years since that earthquake. Again, I'm getting old.
But I need to get back on here and get to work. Mm -hmm. Reminiscing on the earthquake, but yeah, the earthquake was a crazy deal. Really, uh, really changed my outlook on things, even as a teenager. Yeah, changed my outlook on things even as a teenager. Realized how precious life was. And how quickly you can lose it. But since I'm reminiscing, I guess I ride around the old neighborhood. Like I said, I'm in Oakland. This is West Oakland. A lot of this has been rebuilt. Yeah, they uh, cleaning up and changing a lot of Oakland. It's a different place than where I grew up. When I grew up, it was the hood, period. <laughs> no other way to look at it. Yeah, see, this is my old hood. Anything to the right, that's a, uh, we call it lower bottoms. <laughs> and this is uh, Cypress Village right here. What it was called, I don't know what the hell it's called anymore. So as you see, I was like two, three blocks from the collapse. So again, that's why I say it tripped me out. I was actually downtown, I was in downtown Oakland uh, when it happened. You can see the buildings right there, I was straight down that way. Actually, I was on like uh, 20th of San Pablo. And, uh, whoo, didn't see that one. <laughs> yeah, I was on 20th of San Pablo. Kind of in the middle of the street. Which was crazy because we actually got lucky. See, this is my old hood right here. <laughs> Grew up right here by this church. But yeah, we got lucky on that uh, during the earthquake because it was uh, me and two other friends, and one of my friends uh, saw somebody he knew, stopped to talk to the guy, which caused us to miss the light. Small elementary school right there. Martin Luther King. <laughs> Came a long way, but still I got so far to go. But yeah, he saw a guy. We stopped. That caused us to miss the light. Since we missed the light, it delayed us a little. So when we were crossing, we ended up in the middle of the street when the shaking started. And that was the part that was weird for me because, so right before we felt the shaking, you saw there's two buildings, you know, buildings are like right next to each other sometimes. They seem like they're like connected. And it, fuck, that was hard. And uh, the, two, the building, it, the crack, like fucking, I gotta do a, uh, Got to do a hand motion right here. <laughs> Make all these lights. Dripping through downtown. <laughs> but yeah, the crack, uh, the two buildings separated. They basically went and fucking dust and shit start coming out. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I ain't been down here in a while. I'm fucking around. I'm supposed to be on the way to work here. But uh, reminiscing of this earthquake story, I head towards the freeway. But yeah, so I see this crack, the building forming a crack, and I'm like, what the fuck? You know, my mind couldn't really comprehend because this had a girl just standing there staring at me. My mind couldn't comprehend because, uh, because, uh, Dumbass fucking Prius as usual. Yeah, can we go? Shit, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait. What the fuck did I come down here for? <laughs> but yeah, so the building was splitting apart, right? And I'm like, what the hell is this? My first thought was like demolition. But if you think about it, how in the hell are you gonna have? She's smoking hot. 
how in the hell are you gonna have demolition and people are walking by? So I'm like, I, I, I couldn't put that together. And then right as I think demolition, the shaking started. street so what I was saying the lucky part of why we were in the middle of the street was because if we would have crossed the street we would have been under this one building if we crossed the street we would have been under this one building and when we went under that building the glass was everywhere oh, I fucked up here oh, no, like I say what the fuck was I thinking coming down here and this is tight quarters right here. But yeah, I'm not the, you know, I'm not cutting lost where I was. But yeah, so the glass was, uh, we would have been underneath the glass, like those wedges right there. <laughs> We'd be underneath the, we would have been underneath the glass if we hadn't talked to that guy. And the way this C and M saved us because the glass was all over the ground and stuff coming down from that up that high up. We would have been hurt or possibly killed. So we lucked out on that. But yeah, so we were down uh down that way, uh on the way to our neighborhood. There's a little neighborhood rec center that we'd go to go shoot hoops. And uh, we were on the way there, so we went there, made sure everybody was all right. Turned around, came back this way, and uh, we were walking down the street. This telegraph right here, and like all of these stores, all this glass. Some of this stuff wasn't here actually, because uh, they rebuilt a lot down here. But yeah, like all of the glass, all of these windows right here were all broke out. And that store on the corner right there. It's Sears now, but it used to be Capwell's. Emporium Capwell's, which is, I think, kind of a high-end store. So all of those windows right there were all broke out. And I need to be actually turning right here. Fuck, I'm fucking up. I'm really tight right there. Let's see if I can bolt guard and make this left right here. But yeah. Downtown Oakland with a rake, huh? Uh-oh. Yeah, see, all this shit's kind of different right now. That used to be Nablitz. That was a flower place. But, uh, yeah, so we were, like, right over here. Actually, can... See, all of this is different. They didn't have these apartments and all this shit right here. Condos, whatever these are. Like I say, the gentrification they're redoing Oakland. But actually, I can't even show you the buildings because these are new buildings. You know, that's bad. I haven't been down here in so long. I don't want to come to Oakland much. Yeah, see, it was right here. There's two buildings, like the edge of that building right there, and another building were the ones that kind of came apart. been a while since I've been down here. I think I remember. But yeah, that was crazy. So 
That earthquake this weekend got me reminiscing on all that stuff. You know, and being in Cali, uh, like they tell us, you're facing the big one. There's one every 200 years. And uh, it was about 200 years ago that we had the big, big one. Not 1906, that was uh, most of the damage was caused by fire back then. And 1989, I guess, wasn't the big one either, even though it was 7.1. At 5.35 p.m., 31 minutes after the earthquake, a 1980 Mercury Zephyr, driven by a 23-year-old woman, entered the westbound upper deck of the Bay Bridge and drove eastbound in the wrong direction for approximately two miles. The vehicle was traveling at approximately 49 miles per hour when it became airborne and flew 35 and one half feet across the gap and impacted the fallen portion of the upper roadway deck. This car managed to get on the bridge. It tried to fly across this 50 foot gap and didn't make it. After impact, the front wheels became caught and suspended the vehicle and its occupants high above the lower deck. 3, Both the driver the car, and her brother right. were extricated and transported to Letterman Army Hospital by Coast Guard helicopter. The driver of the vehicle was pronounced dead on arrival. Her brother was hospitalized with major injuries. The results of the California Highway Patrol's investigation revealed that the driver did not appear to brake and took no other apparent evasive action before driving into the gap created by the collapse of the westbound deck. An examination of the driver's side restraint system indicated it was not in use at the time of impact. The passenger, however, was wearing a seatbelt and survived. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this motovolk to a close here. Uh, I really just wanted to talk about that earthquake. Uh, in 89, a Loma Prieta earthquake, reminiscing a little bit as I rode through Oakland, a little downtown Oakland on the way to work. Obviously, I'm no rest to get to work. So, yeah, you know, anybody outside of a earthquake territory may not know what we're talking about, but hey, earthquakes are fucking scary. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Total lack of control. That feeling of uh, no control is uh, what makes it scary and you don't know how bad it's going to be or is it going to keep going, is the damn building going to fall down. I saw the shit I was thinking last weekend. So hopefully uh, it'll be a while before we get that big one. Bring all your injuries to 17th and Cypress. Wow, we'll need a couple ambushes if you've got them in. 
into his pocket at 30 seconds in uh, the freeway collapse. But we just got the ladder going now. He's down, uh, down the pocket. It's uh, real bad down here, Andy. And side for the incident, they're working on extrication of three children. I was part of this collapse for a while, but I don't have any company up that way, and we have fire and people trapped. Uh, people trapped at that end and just begin to work their way down to West Grand Avenue. Yeah, they have people trapped on Cypress. I want you to respond to Cypress and work your way towards West Grand Avenue. They have people trapped all along. Uh, we're going to work our way all the way down. Uh, you've got rescues going independently with, with people with contractor and equipment. We've got cops, we've got CHP, we've got civilians. So what we need to do is start probably working our way down, keep one lane of traffic clear, and work our way into each incident and get an analysis. Uh, well, we've got about a half a mile of a collapse structure. Every bit is going to have to be searched. You're going to have to pull out the stops and call for a general alarm. Hey, number one is on Cypress.